Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is John from Programming Knowledge. And in this tutorial guys, I want to talk to you guys about variables in C. Now, when we're using C programming language, a lot of times we're going to be dealing with data. So there's going to be different data values or different information that we're going to want to keep track and use inside of our programs. And sometimes it can be difficult to maintain and keep track of all that data and that's where variables come in so basically variable is essentially a container where we can store different pieces of information so different data values we could sort of things like numbers or text or characters and these variables make it a lot easier for us to keep track and manage all the data in our C program so I'm gonna show you guys basically how variables work or how variables can be useful and how we can use them in our C programs but down here I have a very basic program so I'm basically just printing out a little story so it says there once was a man named Mike he was 50 years old he really liked the name Mike but did not like being 50 so this is a simple program we're just printing out a bunch of different lines of text and then when I run this program you'll see we print out the actual story so over here we have the actual uh, story and this is great okay but let's say that I'm reading through my story and I'm reading through my program and I'm thinking to myself hmm I think I want to change the character's name so instead of calling the character Mike, why don't we call him like John in order to make that change? So I'm going to have to look through my entire program and find every place where we mention the character's name. So right here is one. So change it to John. And remember, keep looking here and there is another one. So we'll change this to John, right? So I had to manually go through and change every instance of the character's name to John. So let's say that's okay. That's, uh, that sounds pretty good. But maybe I'm thinking I want to make the character a little bit younger. So instead of like 50 years old. So let's change it to maybe 30. 30 years old instead of 50 years old. Okay. We're going to change hit here he was 30 years old and also in here the last line of our story so that's 30 instead of 50 if i was to run this program then all that information will be updated and we'll now have new story okay so here's the problem though i'm dealing with a very short story so i mean this is four lines we only mention the character's age and name only twice. But imagine if I have, uh, if I was writing out a huge C program that had hundreds of lines in the story. So story had hundreds of lines and maybe we mention the character's uh, name hundreds of times. They mention their age hundreds of times. And if we wanted to change the character's uh, age or name, I would have to go through and manually change it every single location and that would take forever and it would be a huge drag for us to change all the instances of the name of our character and also for our uh, for the age of our character so basically that's not a good way for us to manage and maintain the data for our programs okay uh, basically you have two pieces of data that we're working with and consistently in this program the character's age and the character's name. What I want to show you guys now is how we can use variables to better keep track, I mean manage these pieces of information. So remember a variable is basically just a container where we can store some data. So I want to create two variables which will store the character's name and the character's age. And I'll show you guys how this can make our program a lot easier to manage up here before the print statement 
I'm just going to make a new line and I'm going I'm gonna come over here and I want to create a variable now whenever we create a variable in C we have to give C a couple of a uh, couple pieces of information the first thing we have to tell C is that what type of information we want this variable to store now I'm going to get into the different data types that we can represent and see more in the next tutorial but for now just know that there's a bunch of different types of data that we can store and see can see we can store things like numbers characters we can store text we can store decimal numbers all sort of uh, all sorts of stuff like that in our case I'm going to store the character's name and the character's uh, age basically just a collection of characters so in order to create this variable the first thing that I have to tell see that I want to create a variable that's gonna store some characters and to do that I'm just gonna type out char here just like that and basically uh, telling C we're gonna store characters in, in uh, inside of this variable so after we type out char I wanted to type the name of the variable that I want to create remember that a variable is a container and it's a good idea for us to give these containers descriptive names and those names will basically let us know what that variable is storing inside of it so I'm gonna call this uh, character name now what I want to do is basically I want to store multiple characters so over here we're telling C that uh, I want to store a character but in C we can also store instead of just uh, instead of just storing like one single character we can store a bunch of characters and that would be kind of like you know a name so there's like four characters in here so in order for us to store a bunch of characters inside of this particular variable after we type the character variable name we're gonna have to make an open and close square brackets and that's gonna tell C that we want to store a bunch of characters inside of this part, uh, particular variable so char character name open and close square brackets um, uh, I'm gonna set this equal to something so I'm, I am essentially assigning a value to this particular variable and I'm just gonna make an open close quotation marks so equals and then quotation marks and inside of here we're gonna type out the value that we want to store so in my case I'm just gonna store the character's name which is um, John and then as always in C we're gonna have to end this off with a semicolon so alright uh, basically what I did here was I created a variable and I told C that I want to store in the variable I wanted to store a character and I give this variable a name character name and then I use this open and close square brackets to tell C that I wanted to store a bunch of characters not just one now what we can do is we can make another variable to store the characters age so in this case we're gonna do something similar but we're gonna want to store a number and there's a bunch of different ways that we can store numbers in C but for our purposes we're storing age so we're gonna use something called an integer and an integer is basically just a whole number so I'm just gonna type out int here int, and that basically stands for integer and now we're gonna give this name so I'm gonna call this character age and I'm gonna uh, set this equal to a number so in our story the age is 35 so I'm just gonna type out 35 there and now we can again end this off with a semicolon so I have here two variables this one storing the character name and this one is for our age now the question becomes how we can use this inside our program well basically what we can do is we can print them out alongside with uh, with this text and we can actually use this printf function in order to do that so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this and then we're gonna talk about it so basically I'm gonna go over here 
and as you can see we have here the character name which is John okay so we can replace this with percent s so percent s is basically a placeholder so after this um, we're going to add comma here and then we're gonna add the character name variable so basically we're telling C that we're going to print this particular text and percent s is just a placeholder that will uh, auto, uh, automatically be replaced by the value of our variable character name so we have uh, the first instance of the character name and then right here we also have we also need to replace this with percent s and then odd comma and then character name because we want to replace that with our uh, value of our variable character name which is John and of course like here we also need to replace this with the actual value of our character age so what we can do here is just we can add percent D so percent D is also a placeholder for printing the integer uh, so this is like integer integer character age equals 35 and then percent D and then we're gonna add comma here so and then character age the same thing here character age and then we're going to replace this with percent D a placeholder for integer so if we try to run our program so let's do that build and run and we will uh, we should have the so we have a process return so I think we have something or we have an error with our program so let's try to debug this so warning format s expects per uh, argument type of character but argument 2 has type in that's basically because we didn't add the uh, square brackets there so build and run so there you go uh, we have now the output there one uh, there once was a man named John he was 35 years old he really liked the name John but did not like being 35 and of course every time you can if you want to change something with this story so, so for example instead of John we will say Michael and we can change also the age like 40 and then um, exit that and then build and run so as you can see here we now have the updated um, story so Michael and then 40 years old so the good thing about variable is that we can reuse this into our entire program so we have uh, every time we have changes here all the variables or all the value should be reflected in our uh, the rest on our program so in in our case we have updated all the values for our story okay so i think that's it for this tutorial guys and in the next video we're going to continue working on with variables because there's a lot to discuss with variables and it is just the beginning so see you in the next video